Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, my dear students. Yeah, see you again in the operations management course. Yeah. So in this video, I am now going to discuss about global operation. Yeah, global operation management or global operation strategy. This is a continuation from the previous video of operation strategy. There are very basic questions. Why companies going global? Yeah. What are the motivation? What are the reason for this company to going to operate globally? So, we have a few uh, a few reasons for this company for going global. Yeah. Number one, they they were going or they are going global because they want to improve the supply chain cost. Yeah. Supply chain cost yeah? by operating in certain other countries, yeah, they will have the best location for raw material uh, sources as well, maybe for talented local workers available. Yeah, another possibility is reducing cost because of the foreign exchange rates by operating at that particular foreign country and then we will have a good cash flow, a good lower production cost because of the use of the local exchange rates, local currencies. Yeah. The third reason is about improving operations. Yeah. By operating locally at that particular foreign location, and then response time, customer service will be much better. Okay. Another reason is exploiting opportunities by understanding the local market needs so that we can capitalize our uh, existing yeah, processes to make products and our services that is suitable for those local market needs. Now, another possibility why the company going global is to improve the products. Yeah? By operating globally, we may have like a local joint research and development, yeah? which is lacking in our domestic location. Yeah? And then another and last reason is by operating globally, we will be able to attain and attract global best talent. Yeah. However, yeah, operating globally will also face a few challenges, especially about the cultural and ethical issues, which is gaining more and more important, important yeah, in, in the global uh, context like social and cultural behavior. Yeah, this is different, different from one country to another country. Yeah. And then differing international law, agreement, code of conduct, as well as ethical behavior. Another challenge by operating globally is that we will have a mobility of capital, mobility of information, mobility of goods, mobility of people. Yeah? So companies want to consider various factors when they want to go global. Yeah? Very many factors such as yeah, national literacy rate and rate of innovation, rate of technology change, number of available talented workers, political stability, yeah? product liability loss, export restriction, taxes, inflation, availability of raw materials, yeah, and then interest rate, the size of the market, transportation infrastructure, communication system, and also another important factor is the corruption. Yeah, this is corruption is also an important consideration as part of global corporate governance, yeah, global corporate uh, conduct. If any company wishing to conduct global operation, somehow uh, they may want to uh, adopt what is called 
outsourcing or subcontracting, yeah, delivering or giving some of their activities to other business partners in other countries. So the reason for conducting outsourcing or subcontracting include increased technological expertise from our foreign partners. And then we want to have more reliable and cheaper transportation. Yeah. The last uh, reason perhaps is the rapid development in deployment of advancement in the telecommunication or ICT. That is why we are willing yeah, to uh, adopt the subcontracting or outsourcing. Yeah. A few activities that can be outsourced yeah, to foreign uh, business partners may include like legal services, IT services, travel services, payroll, and perhaps production in terms of contract manufacturing, yeah. and then surgery or maybe others. Yeah. The outsourcing decision is uh, based on the theory of competitive advantage that if an external foreign provider can perform activities more productively than the putting firm, then the external provider should do the work. Yeah, that is the basis of the uh, outsourcing decision. Yeah. That's all for this session. Hopefully, you will enjoy it. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.